I don't think I'm gonna have a ton of bloopers for this video, which is unheard of. Usually I've got too many and I have to cut some out. What am I gonna do? Like, I want that to be my trademark, so I can't not have them. Does that mean I'm gonna have to pretend to be silly? Ugh, oh, stress. Okay, so, um. Oh. No, mm-mm. You, you've got to go. No, no. I'm in the middle of something. Goodbye. Love you. No, don't turn around. Keep going. No. Oh no, he's coming back, guys. Listen, if you sit here and look cute, you're happy. I'll be happy for you to be a mascot. Okay, you sit there then. Okay, you might see a little furry face come up every now and again. So, hey guys, um, here's another video. So today, as you'll know by the title, I am going to do or attempt a favourites video. So please bear with me. Um, I hope you enjoy it. My last video, there was way too much footage, so it's going to take forever to edit. So this one I'm going to try and do in a one -er. We shall see. Um, I've actually got my background lit this time, so um, you know that's a learning from last time. It was kind of a bit dark and dingy and my lights weren't quite right, but I think I've maybe found a sweet spot for the lights, I hope. I'm gonna get started because I'm already two, nearly three minutes in and I've not actually shown you a single product yet. Right, so first things first, I'm gonna go for skincare um, and start, <coughs> sorry, Excuse me, I've actually been ill for a little while and I'm like just getting my voice back to normal and my cough's mostly gone. So um, apologies, my voice just broke there for absolutely no reason, handy. Um, so first things first then, I am going to um, show you this product here. This is Aveeno um, and this is my daily moisturizer. So I actually tend to use it every other day and it's the Daily Moisturising Yogurt Body Cream. So it's really handy, it comes in this pump at the top which is amazing. I get the apricot and honey and oh my god, it smells amazing. It is, mm, I just love it. It revitalises normal to dry skin, uh, moisturises for 48 hours, that's why I tend to just use it every other day because I am not made of dollar and this is more expensive than I would usually spend. I usually get it when it's on offer at Asda's or something. I actually, I like the feel, like it, it soaks in a lot more than a lot of the other moisturizers I've used, which I really like because I love sleep. So I would prefer to be in my bed for as long as possible before getting in the shower and running to work. So, um, well, dressing before I run, obviously, but um, that means that I don't like to wait around waiting for my moisturizer to soak in before I get dressed. So. This is great and it's suitable for sensitive skin as well. So cannot recommend this enough. Love it. Right, let's move on. So next one, um, as you've just seen me waving it around, is Ulla Henriksen. Now, Ulla Henriksen has changed my skin. Like, I cannot tell you guys. I saw one of my favorite YouTubers using it. Um, it obviously got quite big for a while. Um, Boots have now started selling it in the UK, which is fantastic because the first couple of times I had to order it in. Um, but this is the Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. Um, you know, several people probably have seen this. It's, um, you know, quite a famous little blue bottle now. And it is amazing. I use this at night time, just on a little cotton pad, all over the face, a little bit of the neck. And, it really cleared up my skin. I had, uh, I, I'm not sure if it was stress or if it was something else, but I was getting really bad acne for a while and this really sorted me out. Cleanse my face, then use this and then use a moisturizer and it was, well, it is amazing. I'm actually giving my skin a break from it right now. Um, I started to get um, a type of dermatitis um, not from this but from something else. It was like dry and I've, I've got a little, couple of bits like just clearing up but what I wanted to do was um, I went on an antibiotic so I didn't want to like use this up while I'm using that because there's just no point. It's a waste of product because this is not going to fix it if I need medicine to fix it. So um, so yeah, um, it's cleared myself up 
I cleared myself up for years. I used it for like well over a year. That thing, that will last me a year. Um, well, just under a year. Um, and so now that my antibiotics is finished, I can go back onto this and I cannot wait. So I'm gonna start using it again from tonight. And yeah, there's not really much else I can say about it. It's just amazing and I absolutely love it. So thank you. Ula Henriksen. Next is another product from Ula Henriksen. Um, it is the Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. Now I have this tiny little pot here because um, when I ran out of my large jar um, I totally forgot to keep the... Um, I just threw it across the room. Two seconds. I totally forgot to keep the jar so that I could use it in this favourites video but I had the big one and now I've just got this little one. So I bought a little tester of like, it had like three different things in it, four different things in it, I think. Um, and this is the little one that came and I am literally, I'm nearly running out. So I really need to um, go and purchase a big one. So I'll need to make a trip to Boots, but this is the gel cream. And then it wasn't until I started using this and this that I just got obsessed with the glow. Like, it just feels so much more healthy. I actually really don't like it when my face is matte now. I much prefer it to be glowy and like healthy looking. So, um, well, everybody loves it healthy looking, but you know what I mean. I put it on at night time and it just, I just feel like mm, healthy and glowy and my skin feels plump and it's so lovely. And the gel formula means that I just don't get greasy. So yes, the Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream, it brightens your skin so nicely without making it look really oily. And for someone who gets quite oily in the T-zone, like this is amazing. It has not sent me over at all. Um, it's not broken me out. I'll be going down to Boots to get a nice big tub instead of this teeny one. Yeah. Okay, next. This one's kind of skincare, so I'll go on to this one. So um, I have accidentally bought a really, really dark foundation. Not ideal. But what I've been doing is using my U Tan Jamie Genevieve CBD tanning water to spray like my neck and kind of my shoulders just to make sure it's like too, not too much of a like stark difference between like my chin and then my neck and the rest of my body. So um, this stuff is amazing and um, it's so hydrating and it smells like lavender and I just... I just cannot get enough. It's so lovely. Um, it's cruelty free. It actually says on it mood enhancing scent and I can definitely vouch for that. Um, it is absolutely fantastic. So um, Jamie's one of my favourite YouTubers. She's right up there and she actually lives in Scotland as well. So it's like so weird that like potentially if I'm ever in Glasgow I could bump into her which is just like I don't know how I would be. I would think I would lose my mind but I love her to pieces and when I seen she was doing this collab, um, I was like, oh, I definitely need to try that. And when I got it, oh, I just cannot tell you how good this smells. And if you can't, like, honestly, you need to get down to Superdrug and try it. It is absolutely amazing. Like, just sniff it and it will be, it will, it will do it. It will be its own recommendation. It's absolutely amazing. But yeah, I like how it gives you kind of that gradual tan. Um, <clears throat> and obviously everybody's face always is slightly lighter than the rest of their body so um it just gives you that boost and everybody loves it when you feel tan so this is it this is what will help you what's next eyebrow gel um i'm quite fussy about my eyebrow gel because there's nothing worse than a big fat brush because i tend to use colored brow gel because i have pretty well defined brows anyway so i just use a little coloured brow gel to kind of fill in the places that are a little bit sparser. Um, so because of that, if you go too ham and, and kind of go outside of the lines with a coloured brow gel, then you have marks all over your face. So I like one with a, quite a small brush. Um, I have a really small face, although my eyebrows are quite big for my face. My face is so damn small that actually these eyebrows are not that big. Um, so I am currently using Gimme Brow from Benefit. Um, it is, um, I think this is the, I bought this in a little tester set as well because I wanted to try out a few of their different brow products. And this one is one that I reach for every single day. So I thought I would mention it here. I use the other ones, the other two things that came in it as well, which is like a brow and then the brow definer. Um, I love them as well, but I tend to wear them on like when I'm doing like a big look like this. Whereas this in number five, I reach for every single day. So this is why it's going in my favourites. It's absolutely great. It's uh, like I say, it's in this little, little tube just now, but um, 
I love it. So let me see if I can get a close up of the brush for you. It's probably a bit manky because it's so old, but there we go. I think that's in focus, hopefully. Um, but it's quite small. It is a little bit tapered. I don't much like the taper. I think I would prefer it straight, but what can you do? So um, it's close enough and I absolutely love it. And like I say, reach for it every day. So it is going in my favourites. Next is my foundation. So um, it's not the one that I'm wearing right now, but this is one that I reach for and rebuy all of the time. So it definitely deserves a place in my favourites. It's right for it to be in my first video. So Estee Lauder Double Wear. So this foundation I have rebought and rebought for many, many, many years. I'm currently the shade 2N2 in buff um, and I love it. So I always preferred, like I say, I always used to be quite a matte um, gal and it was always like um, Lancome's 24 hour wear. I think it's, I'm going to butcher the name because it's French, but like Tint Idol, something like that. Um, and basically um, it, it was really matte and then my friend put me on to double wear. So I thought, okay, I'll try it. So I bought it and it was absolutely fantastic. It gave you a little bit more like a glow on your skin. It, it is still matte, but it's definitely this is this stuff I love it because I'm a face toucher if I'm not sitting like this or like I'm doing something I also my nose runs all the time so I very often have to blow my nose and when I wear any other foundation it all rubs off whereas this one it rubs off a little but it just doesn't move it doesn't transfer there's always stuff left on my face at the end of the day and I don't have to worry about it being patchy like it's all really even it's like it buffs right into my skin whereas other ones tend to sit on top once I started using that along with the Sea Rush Brighten and Gel Cream I just my skin I was so happy and I went through a really stressful time in my life where a lot of stuff was happening when I had the best skin ever and I really put it down to like these these ones these two for my skincare and then this for my face like just to make me look put together um so this i absolutely love however something to remember is that most folk don't use this as an everyday i did i don't mind i did drop some of this on my cream carpet once okay just one tiny little dot fell off my brush and onto the floor and when I was moving out I got the carpet cleaners in because it was a cream carpet and I have two dogs and you can imagine but they managed to get the tar that was in my front vestibule type area off the carpet but they could not get this dot of double wear out so yeah bear that story in mind when you're buying it it's full ass coverage but I love it so it goes in my favourites um, first of all, shout out to my best friend Kerry, who um, is my Avon lady, essentially. Um, and basically I got gifted this from her mum as well for my birthday. And it is Avon Far Away Rebel. Now, I used to use Far Away like back like <laughs> when I was like so young that I shouldn't even be wearing perfume. And I absolutely loved it. Um, but obviously as I got older, I was like, oh, it's a little bit like, I don't know, it's a little bit... I, oh, I was going to say old ladyish, but that sounds really nasty. But you know what I mean? It's got that kind of like more mature scent, let's say. Mature is a good word. So um, when this one came out, I was intrigued. And then it was really funny because um, Carrie's mum actually gave me some. So um, I absolutely love this scent. It's um, for it being just a nice, cheap, easy get a hold of perfume. I absolutely love it and I use this for work and it's always in my bag. Far Away Rebel by Avon. Highly recommend and it's that kind of, I quite like an oriental scent. Okay, this makes sense. <laughs> <coughs> this sophisticated combination opens with a vivid burst of creme de cassis and a fresh orange blossom and finishes with a daring temptation of salted chocolate and toffee. That's probably why I like it salted chocolate and toffee there we go so yeah this one is fab for kind of like a a cheap alternative to like a really um kind of high-end scent it smells lovely but nice and cheap avon do it and i think i'm gonna leave it there hopefully didn't bore you too much and i spoke really really fast there so who knows what this will turn out like um but i really hope you enjoyed this video it's my first favorites one i'm doing a lot of kind of beauty related stuff and i haven't done a lot of like podcasty stuff those ones are to come I want to thank you all for watching it would really mean the world to me if you could like 
subscribe or leave a comment or all three or two of the three let me know if I'm in the, on the right track because there's so many of these types of videos out there I don't even know if people want any new ones anymore so um thank you very much um for all your love and support and just a million times thank you and I will see you in the next video bye um if you like the sound of my coughing sneezing in my place because I'm trying to go so fast. Mm, going right in my basket. I'm a face toucher. Oh, mm. I do tend to keep it at home in the dark. That sounds really weird, like a potato. In the dark, somewhere cold. And I'm not very good at these favourite things because I really should have a lot of this information for you. Not too bad. Who bloody knows? Oh my god. It smells amazing. It is Mm. Here we go. Alonso. Alonso. Oh, he's got a little whistly nose. <laughs> um, yeah, so do you want to help me do the outro? you want to help me do the outro? Hmm? Nice boy. Oh, so, oh look, you look so glossy. Look up there. <laughs> he's a good boy. You're so funny. Okay, I think he's just going to sit here and watch. Oh. Oh, so handsome. <laughs> um, so, yes, I'm going to leave it there um, and stop my silliness now. So.